These are Caribbean reef sharks, and one of the extraordinary things about these particular sharks is that they go quite easily into a trance-like state just by having their nose rubbed. You can see this shark sinking down to the sand and sometimes their eyes will close. And the feeder is simply stroking the end of the snout. The trance is deep enough that um, the shark can actually be picked up. You'll see a shark going by just there trailing uh, several feet of uh, fishing line. So the feeder's picked up the shark and is uh, offering the tail end to us spectators. These sharks play a crucial role in keeping the balance of life on the reef and without them uh, various populations on the reef will collapse. Hence the uh, cur current commercial practice of shark finning to make soup uh, is highly discouraged. The skin is smooth when you stroke it in the, from front to back and rough like a cat's tongue when you stroke it uh, back to front. These particular sharks you're looking at are just about all females uh, and they grow to eight feet in length. This particular one has its eyes open and uh, as you can see isn't interested in uh, anything except that scratch on its nose. An initiative is underway now in the Bahamas, which has one of the few healthy shark populations in the world, to uh, ban commercial shark fishing, which literally takes hundreds of millions of tons of sharks out of the ocean yearly around the world. And those left shark populations less than 10% of what they should be in many locations. So there's the magic action there that puts these guys into Never Never Land. Trans can, uh, there's a grouper going by there, and there's another big grouper. These guys are fearless, and they have large teeth like a large dog, uh, much bigger than the sharks. So the shark can actually be stood on its snout um, when it's in this trance. And there it goes. This particular shark uh, liked it so much that you'll notice she she keeps coming back, uh, wanting some additional contact with the diver. 